It is the largest university in the state of New Jersey. It's gone through some rather controversial times, and it's now in the process of making some historic changes. And it also has a new leader. And joining us now is the 20th president of Rutgers University, Dr. Robert Barchi. Dr. Barchi, it's good of you to come on in. It's a pleasure to be here. Why, why take this job? I mean, you're not making more money. That's uh, for sure. <laughs> you, you, took a, you took a substantial salary cut to come from yeah. over from Jefferson mm -hmm. University in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. uh, some would say, why, why do this right now? Well, the opportunity was really what brought me here. It, it, this is a, an institution that's at a pivotal point in its history. Uh, it's a great institution that uh, can be even greater than it is. It has wonderful, wonderful programs that are not well enough known. And it now has an opportunity to grow in areas that it hadn't been in before. And that's why they wanted you. I mean, the, 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 as I understand it, the effort is mm -hmm. to make Rutgers a leading research university in mm -hmm. this country on a parallel with anybody that's out there, yeah. correct? Yeah, I, Rutgers already is an AAU institution with over $400 million worth of research, but it's never had the opportunity to grow in the healthcare segment. Uh, and now with this reorganization, we can put the other limb on Rutgers that was missing. And now we really are that full spectrum university that includes the healthcare sciences as well as the rest of the so sciences. The, the medical school becomes Rutgers Medical College? Well, I don't think we're going to rename anything here. Uh, it already has a distinguished name. Both of the schools have distinguished names that are recognized. Uh, and they already are interacting with our colleagues on campus so very the strongly. So osteopathic school will remain part? No, o osteopathic school will separate that goes by to the Rowan. legislation. Mm -hmm. That goes to Rowan. But the medical school in Newark and RWJ, which is on our campus, mm -hmm. will become part of Rutgers. What do you intend to do with them differently? Well, what we're like to do is to link them in more closely with all the resources that we already have on the Rutgers campus. And we have incredibly strong resources in the basic biological sciences that can help with the discovery and the development and translational research that's being done in these medical schools. Really amp it up and give it the leverage that they need. So will the, the footprint get bigger? Will the number of people I don't think larger? that the number of students will get bigger because that's limited in part by the number of clinical educational opportunities we have. I wouldn't be surprised if the number of researchers involved in those campuses grows. Um, and I certainly would be disappointed if the number of projects that we have and funded research areas didn't grow substantially. The merger itself, did you know what you were getting yourself into when you came here? <laughs> well, when I started talking to Rutgers uh, last spring, um, the issue of health care and uh, higher ed reorganization was certainly in the air, but the legislation being envisioned was totally different. And uh, there were some changes happening or you know, planned to happen in Camden and a smaller reorganization in the health care area. By the time is it I, better this way? I think it's not a question of better or worse. I think the legislation is one that I like personally much more. I'm really committed to one Rutgers with three campuses. I think Rutgers belongs in South Jersey. It has a very important role there. I think we can help Rowan and Cooper grow much more as Rutgers in Camden than we ever could by separating the campus. Um, but taking in all of these elements now from UMDNJ is a, is a major undertaking. The sports program, mm -hmm. obviously, you know what you're getting yourself into with mm -hmm. that. There's been an awful lot of heat mm -hmm. about how much was spent, about the subsidies as well. Mm -hmm. How much do you want to cut back that, that general fund subsidy to the athletic program? My goal would be to see the general fund subsidy to athletics eventually come down to zero. And I think Tim Pernetti is on the same page with me, but you can't do it overnight. We reduced it by a million dollars between last year and this year. I'd like to see that rate of progression over the next few years as well, and I think we can do that. Can that program exist and survive at the level that it's been striving <clears throat> to achieve without any sort of subsidy? I believe that it can if we do a better job of our marketing contracts and a better job with our media contracts. We're just in the process now of renegotiating those contracts with the new commissioner um, and uh, the TV contracts are up for renegotiation. Did it get out of hand, do you think? Was it too big? Was it too, was it too insular? Was it making too much money in, within its own realm? Are you talking about the, the, the conference program. or the program the, the itself? The athletic program itself. No, I think it, it was more, uh, it needed to be run in a business-like way and we needed to make sure that the revenues that were available to the program were being brought in appropriately. I think the conference needed to be more aggressive in marketing itself and, uh, and getting its share of the, of the media uh, dollar. Will you be happy with anything except a winning season? 
I don't look at athletics just from the point of view of winning. I, I'm really serious about this. Our program is about athletics and academics, and I am as proud of the fact that we have the highest um, academic uh, progression rating, uh, athletic progression rating in the country, uh, as uh, the fact that we might be um, six and four or, or, uh, or unbeaten. Well, Dr. Barcher, we have to leave it there. We'll, we'll check back with you at the end of the season. Okay. Thank you for coming in, sir. Good well, luck to it's you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much.